Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn Weekly Energy. And this is for the 24th to the 31st. And this may or may not be a message for you. This may be something that's happening now or is getting ready to happen. What do we have going on for Capricorn this week? What messages do we have for Capricorn? Who needs to hear a message? This could be for your sun sign, your moon sign, your rising sign. All right, we have eight of swords. We have two of swords. We have Prince of Swords. We have a lot of air energy going on here. We have Nine of Swords. We have Queen of Wands. We have Five of Pentacles. Oh, we have the Nine of Cups on the outside of the reading and the lovers. Okay. So I feel like there's some of you that you're afraid to move forward. I feel like you're... Staying up at night, you're stressing about things, you're worrying about things, you're overthinking things. Like your brain is just on overdrive about thinking about something. I feel like there is a relationship because we have the Nine of Cups and the Lovers on the outside. I feel like there's a relationship that you've been thinking about or you've been wanting. Maybe you're single and you want this to come in. Um, maybe you've been stressing that you're not going to be able to find that person. Maybe you've been trying to work something out with someone. Um, maybe there's somebody from your past that you, you know, were trying to work some, some things out. Um, but this is just temporary, okay? Because Five of Pentacles is temporary hardship. Um, this is just something temporary, this staying up at night, this overthinking, this overprocessing. There's a decision that you need to make about something, okay? I feel like the decision that you have to make is, are you going to keep yourself in this negativity? Are you going to keep yourself saying, this isn't going to happen for me? Are you going to keep yourself saying, we're never going to be able to work this out if this is with a partner? Um, you know, I feel like you're almost keeping yourself stuck in a place, okay? And you don't have to. I feel like you can get yourself out of this. I feel like you can untie these ropes and you can take this blindfold off and you can move forward. Because I, f I feel like maybe you are not seeing things. Um, both of these girls have blindfolds on, okay? Um, both of their eyes are covered. I feel like you're not seeing things. I feel like maybe you need to look within, um, to not look out to the external, but look to, to the internal to be able to untie those ropes and to take the blindfold off. I feel like you know the answer to something and you know what it is that you need to do, but you're not doing it. Like you're having to, you're thinking too much about something, okay? you are worrying too much about something. Um, there's definitely a lot of air in here and the lovers is Gemini. So this could relate to a Gemini. Okay, this could be <clears throat> somebody <clears throat> new coming in or somebody coming back. I feel like you have the nine of cups and the lovers crowning this reading and I feel like your wish is to have this this love this partnership this connection um, I feel like this is what you've been wanting um, but it's almost like you've been holding it back yourself like you've been keeping yourself back from doing it maybe there's somebody that's interested in you that you're not opening up to that you're keeping them at arm's distance because you're afraid of getting hurt, but you're never gonna find this true connection, this soulmate, if you keep them at a distance, okay? 
and maybe that's what you need to do is you need to open up and let them in and you know let them see um you know the more vulnerable side of you and you're never i you i feel like you want a deep connection but you're afraid to let people in but you're never going to have that connection if you don't give it a try it doesn't mean you have to open the door the, all the way at once it could be you could open them it up a little and just give them a little bit of information and see you know and if you can trust them with that you know keep opening the door up a little bit at a time i definitely feel like you're going to be moving forward i feel like like i said the five of pentacles is temporary hardship and we have the prince of sword that is charging forward you know look look how you know he is charging forward he has got a plan he is moving forward okay um <clears throat> I feel like this has been, um, I feel like it's been delayed a little bit. Um, this is quick moving energy, but I feel like it's, it's not quite there yet because you're still stuck in this. But I do feel you're going to break out of this very soon because you have the Prince of Sword, which is above the Five of Pentacles. So it's like you're stuck and then all of a sudden you break three, free. Um, maybe this represents, you know, this new person comes in that helps you to break free, that helps you to, you know, maybe this person will help you take the ropes off and the blinds off. And maybe this person is the person that you've been waiting for that gives you that is different and you can trust this person like this person isn't out to hurt you like this person is true and genuine and really you know knows what you need in order to um, feel safe to knows how to be able to help you be in that safe space for you to love again um, Queen of Wands um, I feel like it could be an, a um, fire sign, a Leo Sagittarius or Aries that comes in. Um, this could represent the person coming in. Um, so it could be a fire sign. Um, I feel like it might be somebody who's very busy, who has a lot going on, but I feel like they're going to help you get out of this. I feel like they're gonna snap you out of it. Queen of Wands. So so it could be it could be a fire sign. Or it could be somebody with the personality of the Queen of Wands, which is somebody who has a lot going on. She's very busy, you know, she's you know cheerful she's somebody that you can count on um, so it, it could be someone with those type of personalities or maybe this could represent a friend that helps you um, to to move forward to to move forward and get out of this Let's see, let's pick a couple more. I just feel like with that, like you're just overthinking things. And you need to stop. You need to stop worrying and overthinking. All right, Princess of Swords, we have yet another um, air sign. Um, putting that effort into moving forward, okay? Don't be stuck. The Princess of Swords is somebody who thinks outside of the box, okay? So someone who thinks differently. Stop thinking like the same way. You know, try a new way to look at things. Try a new way of, of seeing things. A different perspective, almost like the hangman. But I feel like you're sort of stuck in this circle, like break out of this this box, this the cycle that you're in. Look at that, and that's going to bring you an awakening, okay? 
that's going to make you feel alive. You know, the judgment card is um, the karmic card. So things that you've been putting in into um, effort that you've been putting into. I feel like you've been trying to get yourself into a better place, but you just haven't fully reached there. But I f definitely feel like you've been working on yourself. Okay, and I feel like those rewards for your hard work are um, coming back to you. Okay, um, a rebirth, an awakening. Um, that's what I just feel like like you're going to, you're going to be having here. But I do feel like you're still you're a little stuck. But I do feel like you're going to be able to break free from that. Um, let's see. What cards? What other cards do I want? Let's do... I kind of feel like doing this one. Put your mind to something and set out in that direction, okay? Put your mind that you're going not going to overthink things. That you're not going to... This one literally flipped over. Twin flames, your passion ignites, okay? And we have the lovers here, you know? So, and that's, you know, finding your other half, you know, choosing romance. I feel like it's gonna be very passionate. I feel like it's going to be, you know, a very strong connection between the two of you. Let's see, I feel like I should do this one too. So let's do one of these. Your passion ignites. I feel like that's what that Prince of Swords looks like too. He's like very passionate. He's he's heading towards you. <laughs> Your person is heading towards you. They're determined to find you. They've been looking for you. They're on their way. There's something better. There is something better for you. That's what you have to believe. You can't keep believing that it's all about negativity, that it's all about, I'm going to keep finding the same person, okay? You have to believe that there's, there's something better out there for you. Don't settle for something that doesn't make you happy, okay? If you're in a relationship that's not making you happy and not making you feel that passion, you know, maybe you, that's what you've been thinking about, you know, is this really what I want? Is this really what I want to do, you know? And you've been thinking about that and you have a decision to make. You have a decision to make. Do you want to stay in this and work this out and try and see if you can make it work? Or is it just the passion isn't there and that, you know, maybe there's something better out there for you? I mean, obviously that's a decision that you have to choose for yourself, okay? And you just have to trust your, like I said, look within. Look within and, and trust your inner voice and your, your gut. I feel like you know what you need to do trust look at that trust all right trust that there's something better okay trust that things will um work out trust your inner voice all right a beautiful reading i mean look at this you got the i love how this is on the outside of the reading of the nine of cups and the lovers i mean that's your, you know, your, your, is your wish to find that soulmate, to find your other half, to find your partner. You might be a little stuck right now, but it's headed your way. Trust that that's going to be happen, happening, you know. There's going to be an awakening, a renewal, a revival, and it's going to make you really believe again. All right. Thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.